Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Dexter with me. We've just lost 3-0 to Brighton at home. Dexter, a complete contrast from last week against Newcastle. And it was at home. Bad performance from Arsenal today. Yeah, man. Um, got smoked. Got mm -hmm. smoked, man. To be honest with you, um, it's been done for me for the last few weeks, I think. Um, really? Everyone yeah, keeps saying has, this. Man, I really, people really said it was, it was like, even after Newcastle, you don't have a little bit of, of hope or optimism. Nah, 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 nah. Because um, obviously the Liverpool game is Anfield. I understand that, but we're 2-0 up. Um, I think that we should have finished them. That was the chance to really finish them at their ground for the first time in years. The West Ham game is unforgivable. Mm. The Southampton game is unforgivable for me. So it was done time ago. So I kind of made peace with that, to be honest with you. Everybody's been running banter. Do you know what? Everyone who's been running banter, like at least we've been in the race. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So like that has to be said, as, as annoying as it is that we've fallen off, like we've made the Premier League, like we've made it something. Yeah. So I can say that. But to be honest with you, bro, I'm so vexed that it's ending the way that it's ended. Yeah. And that's, the, that's like something that's just... I won't be able to make peace with, like, throughout the whole summer. I'm just going to be thinking about those games where we drop points. I'm going to be thinking about Everton away. I'm going to be thinking about West Ham away. And, um, and now this game. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Is it, is, it, is, it a, is it a concern? I keep asking people this every week about the home form. I know, listen, it's the only two losses there at the Emirates, but we haven't been good at home for, yeah. for a while. Do you know what? It's the conceding goals. Like, I've been saying it in my group chat every mm. single week every week like yeah. we're conceding goals and to be honest with you we don't deserve to win the league if we're conceding the goals the way that we're conceding them in the first mm. place so obviously it's annoying Saliba's been out I understand that Tommy asu has been out I understand that but we're conceding cheap goals yeah cheap goals every single week and that's not the sign of champions look we need in the summer to reinforce the squad mm -hmm. we've got a good start in 11 and like I said at least we've made it somewhat of a challenge this season yeah. Nobody expected us to be here, yes, but at the same time, the two things can exist at the same time. We've bottled this league. I think that we've bottled this league because it was in our hands and like the games that we've dropped points in, for me, are inexcusable. So, look, in the if summer... If we push City to, sorry, to cut you yeah, all the way yeah. to like 90 points, would you still say we bottled it? Would you still say, yeah, it was a bottled job from Arsenal? Or would you say, you know what, fair play, they gave it the best, they, they did what they could? Look, like I said, both can exist at the same time. I think... Um, we have done well to push them as far as we've pushed them, considering the resources that we've got compared to what they've got. Mm. But at the end of the day, we had the lead. Mm. And in the games, like I said, the Liverpool, the um, West Ham and Southampton. the Southampton, we've dropped those points. And from those games, I think that we've lost it. There were a couple games earlier in the season, like I said, the Everton away that hurt, but we managed to pull it back. Mm. Um, look, it's not all doom and it's not all doom and gloom. I'm not gonna just come here and just be on a negative one, but it has been annoying in the way that we've done it. But like I said, look, there's been other teams that haven't challenged. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, we've got Champions League football, but we need to push on from this point. And I think part of what makes this whole thing so frustrating is wondering how next season is gonna go. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, well, are we gonna push on from this and make it better? like how, you know, when Liverpool first started challenging and then they made it better? Or uh, is this just going to be like the one time that we challenge and everybody else is going to catch up to us? That remains to be seen. And that's like something that I think, you know, our board need to address. Arteta needs to learn from his mistakes and the players need to learn from their mistakes as well. Introducing Fanzone. My friend Elliot from Canada. We are still top of the league. We are top of the league. We are Tom Elite, so we are Tom Elite. Allows any fan, anywhere you are on the planet, to broadcast live into our shows at the push of a button via our website or app. Well, I'm tired of hearing about the Europa League like it's silverware. So is the League Cup. So is the Dubai Cup. So is the Community Shield. Ah, uh, Michael, and come I... on, they're not the same level. No, I mean it! <laughs> <laughs> Cecile. <laughs> My guy. Fan Zone on AFTV Plus. You can download it on iOS or the Play Store and have your say. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.